Hi guys, Dave Anderson here. Well, I'm finally getting around to this project. It's, um, yep, one of these ride right installation instructions. Uh, you know, it's made by Firestone. Okay, I'll leave a link in the description if I can find it. I didn't actually get it. My father-in-law did. This is my father-in-law's truck. It's not like I don't have 9,000 other projects going on, but when your father-in-law says, hey, can you do this for me? What do you tell him? Nah, sh dad, I Pops, I don't have time for that. What are you talking about? Just do it yourself. Take it to a shop. Yeah, right. Naturally, all the stupid things are done. It's in park, wheels are chalked, and the emergency brake is on. I've got it lifted up on jack stands. And I am going to be removing these rear tires. I've also got a little bit under there, just in case I need to lift it up to get the tires off the ground, which it looks like I'm going to have to do that. I figure if I can do this, you can too. I mean, it's wet, it's muddy, no shelter, no concrete. So if I can do it, you can too. But then again, it is Friday night. Sun is getting a little bit low in the sky. I'll see you tomorrow morning. The next day. Well, I didn't want to do this, but not giving me too much a choice. Just have to go slow. Alright, got that kind of nice and level there at the right height. Cleaned it up a little bit better with the angle grinder. Alright, we're going to make sure that that uh, little pin there is lined up with this. Stick it in there just like that. Now we need to have the um, lock washer, or correction, the uh, nylock nut. And we're going to have to secure all of that down and then we're going to put the little fitting on there that goes on last. All right. Make sure that your elbow is facing out. And then we're just going to align this okay that should be good enough for right now so you got the inside here the outside here and this is how that piece that we put on gets lined up
NASCAR wants to hire me. If you're doing the right side, you need to have the heat shield on. That just sits on there like that. Okay, forgot to let the wheel down. Right side, make sure the heat shield is on. Didn't think it was gonna go in there. Kind of got hung up on the on the uh, exhaust pipe. Five sixteenths, drill your hole. Make sure that there's nothing behind here that you're going to drill into that's important. Might be a good idea to check. That one will go to the driver's side. I'm gonna put another one right over here for the passenger side. Take a razor blade or a nice sharp knife and try to get a very straight cut. That looks pretty good. And there you have it. Use a few zip ties, keep everything together and use the thermal stuff right up here by the uh, exhaust pipe. That'll help keep the line from melting, hopefully. Last thing to do is air it up. Instructions say to get these up to 70 PSI and check for leaks. Bags fill up fast. That's 60. That's 60. There's 70. A little more than 70. Okay. I'm not gonna show you checking for leaks because those are in the instructions and they're kind of boring. So check for leaks to make sure that you've done it right. And you know what? My father-in-law is in Hawaii. So give me a like because I had to do this for him and you know what? It's a kind of rainy day and gray skies in the mud. If I deserve a like, go ahead and give a like. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Dave Anderson signing out. You guys be safe out there and God bless. Well, it's the next day. They're still holding pressure. 
by the way, if you ever want to let some of this pressure out. So this is a Schrader valve tool. All right, I just put 30 PSI in each one. That'll work. 